In an update on a story we told you about last week, California Governor Gavin Newsom has signed the Fast Recovery Act that establishes a government-appointed council to set wages for fast food workers. The council could uh, increase wages for those workers to as much as $22 a share starting next, or $22 an hour. God, I put share on mine. Starting next year, the state's current minimum wage, 15 major fast food companies uh, had lobbied against uh, the, the bill, some California restaurant owners said they were considering adding table services, which would exempt them from the law. It's so weird. It's just yeah. like picking this as a, a random group and then wondering what that means from an inflationary perspective in terms of what right. you have to pay teachers, what you have to pay every other uh, category along the way. The other thing that they're probably going to do, I would assume some restaurants would just start serving lots of bread because I don't know if you saw bread was, part of, yeah. was part of the carve out. Which made no sense. We you have table servers and bread. I, you're I, I talked about far left last week, and it, the, the, there were people that I said that's probably going to mean a lot of these places are not going to stay in business, yeah. probably. And then a lot of people on Twitter say that's a good thing because it's fast food and it causes obesity and it's bad for people anyway. You, but people who lose can, their jobs. Yeah, like. but people would. And I just heard it's called the fast recovery. You know, it's called. They call fast money fast. Sometimes you just put one word there. But when I heard it, it's like going to be sort of the opposite for a fast recovery out there. They're talking about fast food recovery, I think, aren't they? It reminds me of the Inflation Reduction Act almost. That just, it's sort of it reminds me of just what they said about saying it could that be the opposite of what all cars have to be have to be EV, electric right. vehicles by the year 2035, which yeah. you don't think of the unintended consequences along the way. How do you have enough charging stations for that? How do you force it? I understand incentivizing things and trying to offer incentives right. for EVs and other things along the way, but to just mandatorily say this is going to happen I haven't talked seems about. kind of short-sighted. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.